In this lesson, we're going to learn how to draw hair in three-fourths view. Some things to keep in mind is that when you're drawing hair in three-fourths view, think about the front view. So if the front view, if the hair is coming down and it's covering the ear, then it's also going to be covering the ear on the side view if you want to be consistent. Now, there are tricks, you know, where you can like, if you're drawing the three-fourths view and you want to show this part of the face, you can just have the hair, the hair coming in and as if it's combed behind the ear. But from the front view, you want it to look a little different, and so you don't comb the hair behind the ear. That's something you can do. But if you want to be totally consistent with it, then if the hair is coming behind and covering the ear here, it has to be covering the ear here, covering the ear over here as well. This is the basic hairline, so you keep that in mind in three-fourths view. So this right here, that's the basic hairline. So if we want to take, and this would be the middle of the hairline right here, like that, coming down the middle of the face, and so we drop it down this way, and come over that side. Now if they just had like a kind of flat hair, right, let's draw that first. So flat hair, maybe coming down like so, covering the ear just a little bit into a type of ponytail or something like this. So it's a, there's a ponytail here, and then the hair is just kind of coming in front right here like so. Now. If we're going to draw this on this side, most of this hair, because it's being pulled, is actually going to be going like this, and it's actually going to be on the other side of the head, so we're not actually going to see it. So we're going to see the forehead here, and we're not going to see where the hair goes on that side of the face, because it's being foreshortened. And then you'll see some of the hair coming down here, because you got to imagine the ponytail's on the other side. It's turning away from us. And you'll see some of the ponytail coming down right here, like so. Right, so that's just a basic idea. If you, if you Think about that and keep that in mind when drawing hair. It makes it much, much easier when drawing hair. You know, and also it just helps to see someone else draw these different kinds of hairstyles so you have an idea kind of how they look. Now, another one might be, let's say, something like uh, Harley Quinn or something like that, right? So have all the hair still coming up, but now they're like the, the, the pigtails here where they're coming off to the side and they're being held together like so. You have hair coming off. I'm going to kind of draw it more comic y style. Coming down here, say it's covering part of her ear, like this. All this is coming up to that part here. You have the part, maybe you have bangs here, you have a part in the middle of the hair, and you have bangs, so maybe, maybe her bangs right now is being pulled to the side, behind her ear, or you can even have it to where her bangs are coming down right here and kind of covering part of her face. Same thing with this over here, so it's come down like that though. Right, so that's that front bangs. This is the side part, and it's being parted this way like that, and it's being parted also to the other side over here. Now, that's being hidden from us. We can't see where this part is right here. She's turned too far away. It's somewhere right around here. And so you stem from that, and you draw the hair coming out, and you have the ponytail, the other pigtail right here, and draw it however, however long you want to draw the pigtails. And so that would be how I'd go about, you know, drawing a hair from that, from that point of view. And then from the front view, you know, you would have it here and it'd be coming out like this, coming to the side, whatever. Right, so that's kind of what we're drawing. Let's do another hairstyle. Let's do a similar kind of pigtail style, um, but let's kind of go with more, we have more like shorter bangs in the front here. And we're going to deal with that front side. And we already deal with how to draw hair and how to cut it. So I'm, I'm keeping those same principles in mind here. But I'm going to see some of her forehead there. But I'm drawing it in the three-fourths view. This is coming back in like that. And that's going to be making some of her hair here and here. All this hair is being pulled up into rubber band here, let's say. And then we can draw it out. And I'm going to go ahead and move her over here a little bit so we can have more room to draw the right-hand side of her hair. Right, so let's go ahead and finish drawing this out. So in this case, I kind of want to have like this kind of um, really pull these lines out here, really have this kind of exaggerated look here. It's kind of more, leaning a little more toward the kind of anime side of things or manga, however you wish to think about it as. Right now we have a couple lines here and here. Now on this side over here, we're actually going to see quite a bit of it. But what's interesting here, we're going to kind of see that shape right there, this kind of shape of the hair as it's pulling out like this. And then you're going to see that side curve. And it's going to curve in like this. 
Now this is because the hair is coming out quite far now away from the head on both sides and that way you can see a lot more of it. So keep that in mind if you're drawing a hairstyle like that. Another one is, you know, from the front view, let's say you kind of have hair, it's kind of coming out like this. You have this style like this. Well, how are you going to see that from the three quarters view? So what's going to happen is you're going to have this back hair here and it's going to come out and it's going to kind of, you know, fluff out like this here a little bit. But over here, you're not really going to see much of it. You might just see a little bit like that. And then the rest of the hair all depends on the style you're giving it, right? So let's say um, she has some of her let's say uh, we'll have some of her bangs coming down this way and we'll have it kind of coming in front of her ear a little bit here and then it's gonna be kind of short like this so it's like she has this kind of longer front bang here but the rest of her hair is kind of short and she has kind of this long hair in the back and so if you want to represent that here the same thing is going to come like this and we're not going to see it it's going to kind of go out of view like that and come across like so, we're not going to see the rest of the hair. That's what the hairstyle is going to look like when it's done. You can also do all kinds of things with 3 fourths view. Cover the face. Let's say both sides are covering the face. So you have it here, and you have this piece of hair that's coming down. It's covering the face here, covering the eye. All this right here is covering the eye. You have all this hair that's long here. Um, it's all kind of like loose bangs. So you have all these loose bangs on both sides of the hair here. Well, when it comes to this side right here, you're only going to see part of that hair as it comes down like this, maybe another piece here, and that's it. Over here, you're gonna you know, see different parts coming down. And then let's say the back of the hair is, um, let's go like this, kind of go like that, there we go. Give her hair some volume. Let's say the, you know, it can come forward like this, let's say, and it's all coming forward and being brushed. That's the back of the hair, which is kind of, you know, a little bit long. She has have super short hair. And this is her kind of long bangs here coming, coming forward. And so that's what you're going to end up with, something like that. And you're going to see maybe just a little bit of this long hair here. And if it's coming forward in front of her shoulder, then you can come in front of her shoulder. But if not, it's going behind her shoulder. That's what you can see. But make sure there's that gap here between the hair. As you can, Actually, that wasn't even supposed to be a hair there. Just this right here is supposed to be a hair. And that right there. So there's a gap. And you can see the this, this side of the forehead here. That's important. So the hair is coming out here, covering part of the forehead. And then it's in the forehead is overshadowing, it's foreshortening, or it's coming in front of the hair as her head's turning. You know, and you can have fun with it. Oftentimes I'll have fun with hair. Um, you know, let's say I'll start, this is my center of my line here. I'll really come really hard here with this uh, curl and then pull this down here. And this is my big, huge kind of bang. So I kind of get more anime style with it. Maybe to have a, a couple little hairs coming off here. Like so. It's all coming out this way. And then I have this other part of the hair that's going to come and cover the ear. It kind of wraps around like this. And then the other hair is coming behind. Maybe it's covering part of her. Like that. Coming behind her somewhere like this. Now this part here is kind of covering around you know, it's like being combed this way. Now this side, I can do the same thing, but I have to come out like this. And then I'm seeing part of that, and it's coming down, and then maybe it's being hidden. And then some of this hair is over here like that. Or you can get more creative with it. Maybe maybe wind's blowing it, whatever. You want to kind of show more of it. And sometimes I'll do that. I'll kind of, I'll bring this out, and I'll show more of this, this piece here. And I'll come out with the hair that's here and I'll kind of do something like this here. This is typically not something you'd see, but if the, if the wind's kind of blowing and stuff, you kind of want to get that look. And it can just be a coolness factor. You know, so this is uh, how I kind of drew the hair for that picture that we were looking at almost this whole time for the three-fourths view. Right, and there you have it. So there's different types of hair you can draw. Uh, you can also, sh you know, draw different types of sexy short hair. Just think about how it looks and, and look at references. You know, definitely look at references. References are really important. So Look at people, your friends, ask them to turn, take some pictures from three quarters view, front view, uh, from side view to see how hair looks from different views. Keep in mind that if hair is coming to the side of the face in the front view here, you have a piece of hair and it's coming across the eye, then from the three-fourths view, it's going to be covering the eye like that, and you're not going to see the eye. So that's something to keep in mind. 
unless, of course, you kind of comb it out of the way. And you can, if you want to show the eyes for whatever reason, just have it comb it out of the way. Um, it's not a big deal. We, we brush her hair out of the way, hair falls back in her face all the time, so the same thing can happen in comics. All right, so that's it. And for this one, there's no need to have FaceTime for the, uh, the exercise. The exercise is pretty simple. Draw these hairstyles I just drew with you, and then study some different views, different hairstyles with your friends and things like that. Um, try to find maybe reference images. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find them. There's some cool like websites out there that are reference websites that have the same model with the same haircut. Everything's the same. And she's just turning around on a, a platform and while they're taking photos. And so you have like this 360 photo, just like maybe six pictures of her from different angles. And that's a good way uh, to look at hair and how it kind of changes those different hairstyles, how they change when the person's from different angles. So definitely just for exercise, draw hair from this view. Make sure you're comfortable with drawing hair from the front view first using that that lesson in the, from the front face. Make sure you have that down first because drawing from three-fourths view is that much more complicated. But once you have the idea of how to like cut the hair, how to shape the hair from the other from the other lesson from the front view, then drawing from the three-fourths view isn't super hard, but you really have to kind of use your mind. If you're drawing from imagination, you kind of have to use your mind. And that's why I gave you some core hairstyles here to base it off of, because a lot of hair you can base off those core hairstyles. Once you know how to draw those and memorize those, you can you can change them a little bit to different hairstyles, and it's not too hard to evolve them to other things. All right, hope you enjoyed, and that's it for this lesson.